Hey guys, so we are out on open water, finally! Uh, this is not the first open water trip, but it is the first open water trip that it's not raining, so we can finally film and capture our experience for you guys. Um, we are out today targeting lake trout. What's awesome about spring lake trout is the fish move up shallow, so if you don't have downriggers like me, I don't have downriggers yet, you can still get out and target these fish. Oh, there's fish, fish! Fish outside! Hurry ah. on! <laughs> Alright, I gotta clear this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, where was I? I don't know. You don't need downriggers in the spring. Uh, the fish are up shallow. So we're out here using snap weights. And uh, right now the water temps are high 30s. And we're fishing, I think, between like 30, maybe 40 feet of water using spoons. And I was filming my intro, and as you can see, got hooked up. So, it's a good start to the day. Bring in my planer board. So we use the planer boards to keep our lures not only organized, but it keeps them away from the boat. And it's also a great visual indication of when you have a fish on. Okay, I'm ready at my board if you don't mind unhooking it for me. <laughs> okay, there's my snap weight. This is not slow mo, this is just how fast I'm <laughs> Holy cow! You wanna grab my snap weight? Absolutely. I have uh, 70 feet to go. Alright, I gotta get the net ready. Yeah. Fat. Oh, the spoon's in. Good start to the season! <laughs> Beauty. Okay, we're just gonna pop this fish in the live well and then uh, keep them wet while we get ready to take a photo. And if you see here, keep the fish in the water, but uh, this, the fish is missing a pectoral fin here. So this is a stocked fish. So when they stock the fish, these fins are clipped. So you can actually tell how old the fish is by uh, checking the stocking information online. I'm just going to pull this guy out. And since we're moving, I'm just going to torpedo this fish over the side. Ready? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Yeah, good start. Hopefully, more to come. setup if you're not familiar with it or you've never tried it before so it's a great way to cover water uh, you know we do it a lot for spring lake trout fall walleye and uh, what we're out here using are planer boards so as I mentioned earlier the planer boards keep the lures running away from the boat and when you have multiple lines out they also keep things organized we are using snap weights to get the spoon sound a little bit deeper because fish, oh, fish, 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 fish. All right, we've got Eric up with the fish now. Jeez, every time you do these intros, you end up hooking up. I right? know. <laughs> you gotta film more of these. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to do a little talk about our gear and then we hooked up. 
Oh, Fish, I can't get it. No. Oh. <laughs> now we're in trouble. Can you nap at yourself? Yeah, I will. Careful. <laughs> Size of that thing. Isn't it? All right. <laughs> wow! All right, hold him in. Uh. Woo! Wow! Look at that thing. It's amazing. All right, guys. So here's uh, here's the first fish of our double header. Uh, just put him in the well for a minute just to let him recover. He's doing great as gorgeous. you can see here. Absolute gorgeous fish. This looks like it's actually a natural fish because there's no uh, no fin clippings on it. So they're all intact. Wow, as you can see, look just at that. Absolutely gorgeous fish, super healthy, That's super nice. fat. And unfortunately we had to let Ashley's fish go right away because uh, it was hooked a little deep. Uh, so we wanted to give that fish the best possible chance. So we let yeah. it go. Uh, didn't want to bother nice with a photo nice or video, nice just nope. let him go case. so he can grow. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Just a little bump, knee bump assist. <laughs> we'll let this guy go and uh, we'll just torpedo him down. There you go. Perfect. And just like that. So a little mid-morning update. Uh, we have three fish so far. Every time I, I film this talking segment, we get a fish. So that's kind of the hope we get another one. <laughs> But anyways, I forget where I left off. Um, talking about trolling, talking about the planer boards. Um, the speed that we're going at this time of year is generally like 2.2, 2.1. We may bump it up if the fish are hitting when we're going faster. And likewise, if we slow it down or if we're on a turn and we get hit a fish, then we'll slow it down just to see what the fish want. Uh, we're using the HQ William Spoons. We've got a variety of colors out there. And uh, it's been quiet for a little bit. Hopefully the fish will get eaten again and we'll have some more action for you guys. So keep watching. Well, we got fish number four hooked up now. Came on the outside board again. So uh, that's three of our fish now that have come on the high line. And uh, slid out a little deeper. We did a kind of in a shallow pass and got a few rips but didn't connect with anything so uh, turned around and came back on the outside of it a little bit, you know, slid out about another 10 feet deeper and uh, here we, we are hooked up. Finally hooked up again. Made a bit of a move. Uh, got a little too crowded for our liking. Uh, our first spot, and uh, actually really died down quite a bit. So uh, decided to explore some new water, fish an area that we haven't fished before. And uh, it's kind of slow to start, but finally hooked up. Outside rod just ripped off as we we're both kind of in our own little world, <laughs> not really paying uh, a ton of attention. So. I was paying attention. Uh, you were. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Throwing down that spoon. There. He's burping. <laughs> yep. 
Right on. Afternoon update. We are up to six fish now. It's a little quiet. We just landed one a little while ago. But I thought I'd share some info with you guys. So we are trolling at 2.2 to 2.3 miles an hour. And that's where we've been getting our bites at. We have our spoons down ranging from 15 feet of water down to 30 and we're able to do that with the snap weights as I mentioned. So we're just passing through an area that we've picked up a few fish and we just keep looping around and passing through again and again because that's where we're getting bit. So hopefully more fish to come. What just happened? You just landed a fish. Then we got snagged on bottom because we moved up shallow, reset all the lines, and in the process of resetting the lines, now I'm hooked up. Check out the nice colors on this guy. Beauty! This one is clipped right there. Put the back in. And I'm gonna send them back. Ready? There. Gone! I think you've got your work cut out for you. I think so too. This thing dumps some serious line. Tired? Getting there. <laughs> I think we're done after this. <laughs> I'm going to be done after this. Oh my god. <laughs> This is a gain line and then he dumps it all. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my god. Yes! Do not! I Yeah, I see that. You had him! I know I almost slipped down with the boat. Under. Whoa! Ah! 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 Uh, props to Ash on the crazy net job. I'm sure you guys will see that on the action camera footage, but yeah, we're the part where I dropped it. Look at this slog! <laughs> <laughs> Is that real? Oh my god! Sorry, I'm slow to stay home. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the size of that thing. There's a scale. Okay, let me back up a bit. That's a 21 and a half. Wow. Sorry, just over 21. Let me see. I don't know if the scale's zero properly. Uh, 21 point. It's bouncing around a bit. It's yeah. a 21 point. Over 21. Five, but anyways, 21. Something. Oh, that thing's just a freak. <laughs> it's a big old fish, so I'm trying wow. to be very careful with her. Oh my god. Roll up. Oh my Look at the size of that thing. That's a couple people wide. That's right. It was just a little over, just a little over 21 pounds on the scale. So epic. Okay. It's an you, old fish, so we're gonna take care that. of it. I'm gonna grab the camera. Yep. Just I'm just gonna put her in the well just for a sec then. Okay. I'm gonna film that release. It's gonna yeah. dry my hands. What a gorgeous fish. Okay. Wow. Hey. So I am ready when you are. Okay. I'm gonna come and take a close up look at this. Look guy. at the size of this thing. I mean, wow. it is a big, thick, giant fish. So, had a bit of a long fight, so we did put her in the well just to kind of let her chill out for a bit. We got the recirc on manual, we got the, the fill on manual, so she's getting lots of fresh water. And I mean, keeping she's keeping her wet and healthy. Keeping her wet and healthy, and she's sitting upright, so she's, uh, she's just about ready to go here. Okay. Get her back. Awesome. Okay. Go for it. Head first. Oh, there she goes. Look there out. she goes. There. Woo! Wow! Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh man. That was epic. Ian, I think we'll end the day on that note actually, because we gotta head back to Ottawa. Yeah. But this has been a blast. And my and arms are my arms are falling yeah, off. I can't I can't reel sore. another fish in. You know what? Before we go though, we'll grab all the lures and talk to you guys about what lures we're using yeah, today actually, and then we'll close it out after that. Yeah. All right guys, so here's our little end of the day gear shot. We've got the planer boards, we've got the spoons, we've got the snap weights, the line counter. So this is what we're using today. Um, the best lure of the day, considering Eric's fish, plus the numbers, was this Cajun color here. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, these are the Williams HQ spoons. And they're either kind of gold or silver hammered. Um, but yeah, that was an epic, epic day. Uh, we didn't catch a high number of fish we have in the past, but when you end the day with a fish like Eric's, then in my books, that's an awesome day. All right, well, that's a wrap on our Lake Ontario spring lake trout day. We had so much fun. <laughs> Eric caught a giant, caught a few fish, and the open water season is here. So there will be lots more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congrats, Eric, again. Thank you. And uh, please subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, I tried to include some info today, but I'm just kind of getting rolling on these videos. So if you have any questions about what we're doing today, please leave a comment and I'll chat with you guys soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.